I have lots to do. Little Sneaky, who really needs her nails trimmed, but she freaks out like she's dying when you do it. I need to head to my mom's garden today, start prepping the garden, tearing out stuff and getting it ready, because I'm gonna be starting seeds this next week or so. She's such a little piggy. She just sounds like a little pig. Oh, Anyways, so I'm gonna be doing that and I also need to go see something and prep some things for some exciting news that is going to be happening and a scary, exciting adventure that is going to be happening that will be shared soon. I'm not trying to do a cliffhanger. I'm just not prepared to share it yet, so. Yeah, so come along with me. Okay, I pushed the code in wrong at my dad's gate, so you have to wait for it to like restart. Garlic. I didn't plant it. I didn't plant it yet, which I did that two years ago where I didn't plant it until January and I still got good garlic. So I'm gonna do it, plant it better late than never. I just talked about this on Instagram, but I don't know if this happens to anybody else. I deal with like, what's it, I don't even know, is it called situational paralysis or whatever? Where if I'm stressed or overwhelmed about too many things to do, I will not feel like I can do anything else because I'm avoiding that one thing. So if I avoid one thing that's stressful and procrastinating about, I have to avoid everything else or I'm too overwhelmed and I can't, I can't be happy about doing anything else if I'm avoiding that because I know that I should be worried and I know I should be stressed. So trying to avoid it and go do other things just still makes me think, no, you need to be stressed and avoid everything. So don't do anything and sit on your couch and be depressed. So, which I am all about resting and I love watching TV. It's been my favorite hobby since I was a kid. It always has. However, I can feel myself slipping into, I, I don't want to say, I, I get leery about saying the word depression because I know I don't have severe depression. I know there are a lot of people that deal with debilitating where they cannot move and I'm not trying to downplay, you know, or upplay my situation, but I can feel myself slipping into the place where it's really hard for me to do anything or leave the house or whatever. So I've been trying. The last two videos, as you have seen, have been me making myself go outside and tr making myself go out and do things. Like I went to the movie with Gabe the other day and that sounds horrible making myself. I love going to the movies with Gabe. It's one of our favorite things. It's what we do like about once a week, but I just not wanted to leave the house. I have been frozen and stressed. And I mentioned my teeth situation the other day. I actually went to the dentist yesterday. Basically, I cried while I was there. They were so kind to me, um, but I do need to get a substantial amount of work done, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be. However, with my jaw, I'm very nervous still and scared about having to have it open for that long because can you tell I'm like, I'm like fidgeting while I'm talking about it. I don't want to ramble. I don't want this to be just a rambling video, but I just, I want to talk about it because for one, I know other people struggle with this and I know that other people struggle with overwhelm. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop picking at my nails and I'm going to type in the code because it's surely available to type it in now and I'm going to go work in the garden. I don't know if it's gonna rain or not, but I'm gonna plant that dang garlic that I've been putting off and avoiding for who knows why. Just, I'm working on this. I'm trying to get better. <laughs> this poor, this, well, that guy is just stuck in there. But this poor, sad, neglected, Winter garden. Rosemary is taking butt and taking names. Look at this though. This is crazy. How are these? How are these growing? These are flowers. We've had a really mild winter this year, but goodness. Okay, these raspberry bushes are main thing on my list. This is the main. Thing on my list to clear today.
Cold coffee, my old boots are by the door. Nobody is calling, but I don't mind it anymore. Totally missed the compost bin, it just splattered on the side of it. <laughs> So instead of ripping these out, I'm going to cut at the bottom so it leaves the roots in and then it just feeds the soil. So tired of keeping score. Gonna find somewhere to slow it down. Buy a little place way out of town. Gonna take my time. Okay, this is looking so much better. I honestly, am, I don't know a ton of what I'm doing with raspberry pruning. I know a little bit. So I just, I probably should have waited a little bit more till the spring, but it's, it is what it is. And you could barely walk through here because of just all of this. So hopefully it'll work, but this is all cleared out now. I am not an expert in gardening and it's such a crooked video. My tripod broke, so it's just lopsided. Basically, I am going to get this soil nice and loose. Don't want it in a hard clay soil that's hard for that root to develop. So you wanna loosen the soil up. After that is done, you take your garlic. Oh my goodness, this is a hard one to... Now, you don't wanna take all of the, sh the outer cover off. You just want to break them apart and keep that cover on it. So right here, you want to have the pointy side up and this part down, about three to four inches down. I forgot to bring my fertilizer, but I'm gonna come and sprinkle it on later and it is the bone meal. They love it. And so that's what we're gonna do. I have a bunch of these, these are Spanish white, the bigger, this clove is, the bigger your bulb is gonna be, typically. That's what they say. So, let's get to planting. Gonna find somewhere to slow it down By a little place way out of town Gonna take my time Did this whole area right here with Spanish white I bought so much this year. I, since a lot of my garlic, well like a quarter of it got eaten by gophers, I didn't have seed garlic. I just had enough for us to use for the year. So I just bought seed garlic. So I think I might actually stick some of that at my house because I have so much. This is what we did today in the garden. I still have many beds to go through, but it's such, so much better. So much better. This is how a good day is spent. <laughs> I don't like gloves, so I don't use gloves. And yes, I have my rings in the garden, which every jeweler, we have a jeweler in our family now I married my niece, and he cringes every time I garden with my rings on, but that's how we do it. Uh, this is kind of an all over video. It was like me being vulnerable and then me planting garlic. That's how it is. So again, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a blessed, wonderful day. Gonna find somewhere to slow it down Buy a little place way out of town Gonna take my time Cause it's on my trade my pride